I know what you're thinking. We had our last sail. We're supposed to be winterizing the boat. Yeah, well, we are, uh, we're here to winterize the boat, but um, it's October 31st, and the temperature today was 82 degrees at the marina. So, we had to go for one last sail on the boat. You, you gotta take advantage of days like this because they are rare gifts indeed. And then later on, probably tomorrow and the day after, we'll be filling the boat with antifreeze and taking some of the foodstuffs home and taking a sail down and thinking about next season. In the meantime, This is a afternoon to just enjoy for sheer fun of it, for sheer fun of sailing. We weren't the only ones enjoying this fine day. We spotted this beauty on the water, a real classic from the past. Sailing can be an easy thing, a simple thing, or it can be hard and complicated. It all depends on the weather and how you want to sail. Today was an easy and simple sail, a nice way to end the season. You can't get more basic than wind and water the lowest common denominators in nature. You accept what it gives, and you work with it. You live with it. Because when it behaves, it's like having a good friend. As the sun was setting, it was time to turn toward home and go back to the marina. When Beverly and I first took our sailing lessons many years ago, we were taught the importance of communication. Okay. Even between just two crew members. Go ahead and call it. Ready about. Ready. Helms away. And so we use vocal commands when we make our turns. It may seem like a silly thing to some, but everybody knows what's happening on board before it happens. The next morning, after taking the head sail down, it was time to stow it away for the winter. First I had to detach the head of the sail and the tack from the roller furler. That's the bottom and top of the sail. Then I had to detach the sheets, the lines that run from the cockpit to the clue of the sail. That's the end that gets pulled back when making adjustments for the wind. Here I'm using a marlin spike, a tool used to loosen up knots. 
And the knot is really tight from all the tugging and pulling we did all season. I stuck the head sail down the forward hatch and into the V-berth where it's going to stay all winter. So here we are. The whole head sail is in the V-berth. Yes, it's messy. Yes, it probably gets some wrinkles. We've been doing it for a couple of years in a row and it never seems to bother the sail. So, uh, we keep doing it. Well, to say that I'm paranoid about freezing temperatures on the boat would be an understatement. I've always have been, and uh, as you can see, I have purchased 14 gallons of minus 50 antifreeze for the boat which includes uh, use in the engine and the water tanks in the head um, because that cost me about almost 50 bucks which is pretty cheap insurance because although uh, today it's about 68 degrees yesterday was <laughs> 82 in um, October, November. This is November now. Today is November 2nd, I believe. Um, it does get cold in Maryland. And it just takes a, uh, a week of good freezing weather, even though the boat's in the water. And the boat in the water will not freeze as quickly as the boat up on the hard um, to cause damage. And uh, I really don't want to have to replace water lines that run through the boat because that would be a monumental chore. Uh, needs to say the cost, and also replacing water tanks, and it just goes on and on. That doesn't even cover the engine, which, uh, well, you can imagine how much that would cost to repair or replace. So, uh, 50 bucks on uh, a lot of antifreeze is uh, not a big deal. The guy at the West Marine literally almost laughed at me when I told him I wanted 14 gallons for a 32 foot sailboat but again call me paranoid but uh, I still think it's pretty cheap insurance freezing temperatures in Annapolis. Maybe not every day, but uh, enough to maybe make me a little sleepless at night thinking about the boat. I've even shoveled out the cockpit once or twice because of snow. Vesper will be recommissioned again somewhere around April next year. And the sailing season will begin anew. <laughs>